What's up guys, this is Sherry Talking, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got the perfect score in Final Island 4 this week. Sorry about my voice, I'm not fully recovered, I'm still pretty sick, but I wanted to make at least one video to try my voice now because there are content coming up and I need to recover fast in order to cover all. But, well, this is simple, I guess. Let's start talking about the first well. We have enemies weak to heat and cold and they are aligned in a row. So you have plenty of different attacks that should work here, but I'm using a very popular character, that being Robin Joe. And well, you can also bring another character to do damage. In this case, I brought the latest 260G in a back line of a Magia Fight Formation. Why? Because it's a fast attack that can use it three times in a row with Quick Ray. So it helps Joe reach the damage she needs. I am using the Remembrance Gun with 260G and a forged weapon with Joe. That's a perfect one. You don't need that much, but pretty close. And you just inherit Aqua Viper Plus to help do damage enough to kill all the enemies with six actions. Okay, this can be run on auto because we have a fast attack in the back line. It will be triggered first. And then Aqua Viper Plus will do enough damage to kill the enemies, even against the boss. So it's a very nice combination for the future. This stage uh, has not appeared many times. It's nice because sometimes they run the same stages many, many times in a row. Aqua Viper dealing around 100,000 damage here. Now time for the bosses and they, well, have around 160,000 HP, I guess. Quick Ray. Now Joe just finishes them off. With that, we just got the perfect score. Six actions, 880,000 score. Okay, the second well has enemies weak to Pierce and Sun, and they are aligned in a column. That's actually interesting. We do have uh, some column attackers, and with Pierce damage, you can use the second limited Darky, and he has an attack called the Bloody Harvest, but this time I'm bringing someone else. That is Claudia, because she gets a lot of damage if she has the help of Enya, and I brought the Deadly Pierce Axe Formation, and well, we have her here on the top, she can get in the way, I brought the equipment to decrease her agility, and we have Golden Notes Inherited to help against the boss, and Claudia will just use her Skyfall attack, I have a very powerful bow for her, as you can see here, and you need a third character to just do damage against the boss, in this case I brought Nadar just because he's STR based and works well in this formation, bring two useless characters so that they don't act. Okay, this can be run on auto, but I hope that Claudia attacks first. She did. Skyfall, 186,000. I guess they have around 110,000. It's much more than they have, but, well, it's good to do higher damage. Same attack again, Skyfall. Ah, I inherited Twin Arrows Plus as a finisher, because it deals more than just uh, skill number one. Now we just have the combined power of the three characters to finish up Deep One. Twin Arrows did 100,000, it's actually very nice. 157, let's see how much damage we get. Enough to kill the boss. Five actions this time, enough to get the perfect score as well. That's right. Now, the last well has enemies weak to Blunt and Lightning. They are also aligned in a row, so pretty nice since we do have some Blunt attacks that do row damage. But they are also weak to Lightning and we have a secret weapon that can be used here, and that is Screen Healed. If you have her from Mask Banner, uh, she helps a lot. Well, I brought the Amazon Raid X formation with Screen Healed in the middle. She's gonna help with the first and third wave. And then you can bring Platinum Madeline. She's gonna use her Demi Lune Burst. And someone else like Halloween Silver is gonna help with enough damage. This can also be run on auto, because Green Hill, who uses a fast attack, she's gonna kill the first enemies. She's using a perfect weapon. Well, it was easy to craft one back in the days. Now she would not attack on the second wave. It's all about uh, Madeline and Halloween Silver together. It's funny that Madeline actually deals almost enough to kill the boss. Very, very close. She's getting uh, almost ready to kill it by herself. So three actions so far, 
Now we are on the last stage that it's not a boss and Trian Hill is gonna do the same damage here. Look, 150,000 against the frontal enemy. Now we kill with Madeline. And that was uh, six actions, I guess. Five actions, so max score as well. And that gives us all the rewards. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you. And if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description. I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.